Hey everyone and welcome back. Before we begin here today, please make sure that you like and subscribe because it really does help out our channel and it also helps us reach others who want to test their math skills with these types of test questions. So this will be our 44th part in the series and what we have going on here is that we have to determine the area of the orange region shown inside this semicircle. So we are told that A to C is the diameter of our semicircle and triangle ABD is a right triangle with the right angle forming right here at B. We are also given some information relating the sides of the triangle X, Y, and Z by these two equations here. And we are also shown that the distance from B to C is 5 inches. So in order to get this orange area of the semicircle, we need to know our area of our semicircle and the area of our blue triangle, or our white triangle in this case, with the blue outline. So the semicircle area remaining in orange will just be the overall area, subtracting out the area of the triangle. So in order to find the area of the semicircle, we need to know what our radius r is for our semicircle. And we also need to know our um, dimensions here of x and y for our triangle, so we can get the area of 1 half base times height, which would be 1 half x times y. So this problem is going to be more um, algebra related than it is geometry related. So let's get started here. So I'm going to call this first equation equation one, the second equation equation two. And since this is a right triangle here, I can also relate x, y, and z as such. So x squared plus y squared is equal to z squared using the Pythagorean theorem. So what I can do is that I can take this portion of x squared plus y squared and plug it in for z squared in equation 2, thus resulting in z squared plus z squared, <clears throat> or actually, <laughs> it shouldn't be plugged in over there, it should be plugged in right here for z. And then that would be equal to 468 inches squared. So essentially what I have here is that I have 2z squared is equal to 468 so z would be equal to the square root of 468 over 2, which is equal to the square root of 234, which is equal to 3 square roots of 26 inches. Alrighty, well I found z, but I'm really looking for x and y, but I need z in order to find x and y, so I already have one of my unknown sides found. So let's go back and try to find x and y now that we know z. So let's restart here with equation one. So from my equation one here, I am just going to go ahead and I'm going to square both sides here so I can get rid of this, or square root both sides so I can get rid of the square over here with all my variables. So essentially what I'm going to have is x plus y plus z is going to be equal to the square root of 1322. So now I'm going to plug in three square roots of 26 in for z down here, and I have x plus y plus three square roots of 26 is equal to the square root of 1322. And then I'm just going to go ahead and take <clears throat> the three square roots of 26 to the other side, so I end up with x plus y is equal to the square root of 1322, subtracting off three square roots of 26. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to square both sides. So square and then squared. And we're going to get some long-winded equations here, but it will boil down to something a little more simplistic. So x plus y squared will be equal to x squared plus x or 2xy plus y squared is equal to 1322 minus off 2 times the square root of 1322 multiplied by 3 square roots of 26, and then plus basically 3 square roots of 26 squared, which gives me 9 times 26. So this will boil down to x squared plus 2xy plus y squared is equal to 1322 plus 234, which comes from the 926, or 9 times 26, and then subtracting off taking this entire section here, which will be 6 
square roots of 1322 times the square root of 26, which we can combine these two portions right here literally become the square root of 34,372, which then we can also reduce that to the following, which is two square roots of 8,593. So this equation that I have written here will boil down to this, x squared plus y squared plus 2xy is equal to 1556, subtracting off 12 square roots of 8,593. The 12 comes from the 6 multiplied by the 2 there. All right, so why did I do all that? Well, if we go back up and we look at equation 2 up here, well, equation two has this right here. It has x squared plus y squared is essentially going to be equal to 468 subtracting off z squared. So I can take that and then I can figure this out a little bit easier here. So this would be x squared plus y squared <clears throat> is equal to 468 subtracting off z squared which what is z squared? It is three square roots of 26. And then if you square that, you get 234. So that we would have x squared plus y squared is equal to 234. So I'm gonna take this value of x squared plus y squared and come down here and plug it in right here for x squared plus y squared. So I would have 234 plus 2xy is equal to 1,556, subtracting off 12 square roots of 8,593. So essentially, I'm going to have 2xy is equal to 1332 minus off 12 square roots of 8,593. So once again, we are back to 1332. All right. Well, <clears throat> what else can I do here? Because I need to know what X and I need to know what Y are. And I also need to find my radius of my semicircle. <clears throat> Excuse me, starting to lose my voice. So let's go back up to our picture here and let's use the geometry. All right, so I'm going to switch over here. So let's put our center of our semicircle right here. And let's just call that point out. Well, this dimension right here would be r. And if I draw from my center, should be a straight line, <laughs> up to d is r as well. So I get a little miniature triangle forming here of r, y, and then I'm going to have this right here, which will be r minus off the 5 inches. Okay, well, we can use the Pythagorean theorem for this little miniature triangle, and we can solve for y or we can do it in terms of y. Well, we also have radius, which is unknown. Well, what's my radius? Well, we know that this entire dimension from a to b is x, so my radius will just be x plus five divided by two, taking the full diameter, which would be x plus five, and then dividing by two. So let's utilize this relationship in conjunction with using the Pythagorean theorem for our little miniature triangle here involving the radius and y. So we would have r minus 5 squared for our side, plus our other side, y squared, is equal to our hypotenuse, which is our radius squared. So filling this out, we would have r squared minus off 10r plus 25 plus y squared is equal to r squared. Well, the r squareds will drop out from each side, if we rearrange in terms of y here, we would have y squared is equal to 10r minus off 25. Okay. Well, now I can plug in my radius, which was x plus 5 over 2. Plug that in for r down here. And I end up with y squared is equal to 10 times x plus 5 over 2, subtracting off 25. 
<clears throat> and I end up with this equation of y squared is equal to 5x plus 25 minus off 25. Well, the two 25s will cancel. So then y is just going to be the square root of 5x. Okay, so now I can take this y, which is the square root of 5, or the square root of 5 times x, and then I can plug it in up here into this y right here. So let's go ahead and do that, bringing this entire equation down. So I will have 2x times my y, which is the square root of 5x, is equal to 1332, subtracting off 12 square roots of 8,593. Okay, well, I can split this square root up here. So it'd be 2x times the square root of 5, square root of x is equal to everything still on the right side has remained unchanged. <clears throat> and then I'm going to separate out my 2 and square root of 5 and then combine my x variables here because essentially this is just to the half power. So I will end up with 2 square roots of 5 multiplied by x to the 1 half power to the 3 halves, if you want to write like that, that's perfectly fine, is equal to the 1332, subtracting off 12 square roots of 8,593. Let's rearrange. We can take the 2 square roots of uh, 5 to the other side, and we're not going to be able to keep it in such a nice format here with exact numbers, but it's going to be extremely close here because we have kept the exact numbers all the way through as best as possible. So we're going to have x to the 1 half power is equal to the 1332 subtracting off 12 square roots of 8,593 divided by two square roots of five. And this will give us x to the one half power is equal to 46.872. And then if we take the opposite of the one half power there, <clears throat> we get x is equal to 13 inches exactly. So it benefits taking the exact numbers all the way through because we found out to be exactly 13 inches there when we solve for x. Alrighty. So now that we know what x is, we can come back up here and we can determine what y is because y is just 5 times 13 square rooted, which gives us the square root of 65 in inches. So that'd be our height of our triangle. Okay, so now that we know the height of our triangle, we know the um, width of our triangle, the base. We can also get, while we're here, let's go ahead and get our radius of our semicircle, which is just x plus 5 divided by 2. So it'd be 13 plus 5 divided by 2, which is exactly 9 inches. Okay, that would give us our area of our semicircle. So let's go ahead and start determining areas here. So the area of our triangle x, y, z is going to be equal to 1 half times my base, which is x, times my height, which is y. So I'm going to have 1 half times 13 inches times the square root of 65 inches. And once again, not a very nice number, so let's just do some rounding here. And this pops out to be 52.404 inches squared. All righty. So now let's get our area of our semicircle. which will just be pi times my radius squared divided by two. So this will just be pi times my radius, which is nine inches squared divided by two. And this gives me 81 pi over two inches squared. So the area in orange, and let's see if it shows up very nicely. So that's not bad. So the area in orange remaining once we subtract out our triangle, will just be 81 times pi divided by two, subtracting off the white triangle, which is 52.404. <clears throat> and we're gonna have to round this off and we get an area of 74.83 inches squared as our final area. And that would be our answer to this problem. 
as most of this problem, as I mentioned, was algebra instead of actual geometry. We had some geometry that we had to work with, the Pythagorean theorem and whatnot, and here are the areas at the end. But most of this was just utilizing the algebra and the given equations. So I um, hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you learned a new math skill along the way. And if you want to test your abilities even further, please check out the other videos on our channel. Also, if you haven't done so already, please like this video, leave a positive comment below, and subscribe to the channel because all that does help us out greatly. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a fantastic day.